Here comes the bachelor, all dressed in my nice jacket I only wear for special events. Ah, you're already on fire. Thank you, my friend and gentlemen. Welcome to my bachelor party. This is the elite party squad. That is assuming the captain is ready to let loose. Captain? I don't think so. I want you guys to think of me as one of the boys, so tonight I'll be swapping out my captain's hat for my... Kangol hat. Call me Raymond. Okay, Raymond in the Kangol hat. I will definitely call you Raymond Raymond in the Kangol hat. <gasps> this is the best night of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to answer an age-old question. Right. What's Amy's deal? Is she single? No. We're dating. Come on. The question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You will be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin! What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. Ooh. <laughs> That's your halt impression? I can hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. I knew it! Okay, so let's fanny up, Batch Boys, because it's time to party. Woo, woo! Yes. Whoop, whoop, Raymond and the Kangle. <laughs> let's go. Peralta, are you eating an Italian sub for breakfast? I am, but Amy said I should eat more veggies, so I got extra pepperoncini. Smart. Uh -oh. Excuse me. You need to watch yourself. I'm sorry. Cop. <laughs> All right, let's everybody just stay calm here. Oh, what? Are you gonna arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. This is dancing. What is happening? I'm defusing the situation. <laughs> dancing Captain, let's capture an image of a lifetime. Oh, why is my phone always dead? I paid $13 for it. Don't worry, Jake. I got it. Oh, 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 my hands are covered in butter from making butter. I'm on it. Must record, must record. Camera off. All right, here we go. Dancing over. Situation diffused. No! Hello, thank you so much for coming. High five. Detective Pimento didn't want his funeral to feel stuffy. Condolences, my man. What's going on, sir? Why are you high-fiving the bereaved? The handshakes weren't working. You couldn't see the inside of the thumb webbing. Gina came up with an artful solution. I'm very sorry for your loss. Get some. The system works. Wait for it. Wait for it. 901, Amy Santiago is officially late for the first time ever. All right, let's do this. Who's got theories? Uh, alarm didn't go off. All three alarms, all with battery backup? Come on, who wants to take this seriously? Ooh, she was taken in her sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Super dark, Boyle, but way more plausible than the Sarge's idiotic alarm clock theory. I bet she tucked herself into bed too tight and got stuck. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I'd like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! That meat was good. You know what we should order? More meat. Oh, yeah, we should. We're the steak studs. The steak studs. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Charles already gave us a name, and that is the only one we're going to use. Steak studs, steak studs, steak studs, steak studs, steak studs. It's Charles. Oh, no, oh, no. What do we do? What do we do? Everyone, calm down. It'll be fine. I have an idea. Why is everyone looking at me? You just said you had an idea, and then you stopped talking. Oh, my goodness. I'm very intoxicated. <gasps> I know your shift is over, and you've had a challenging night, but I think I found a new way to raise morale. Follow me to the briefing room. What's all this? It's an after-work hang. Just trying to turn up, as it were. 
We got uh, snacks, games, decorations, chairs. Yes, chairs. Cool. Maybe we can mill around and small talk about how some of us are big lying liars who lie all the time like a bunch of liars, Rosa. I don't think that's good party combo. Uh, maybe we should just name our favorite sailing knot. I'll start. The bowline. How about some tunes? Cool. Merry-go-round music. Yeah, John Philip Sousa, the Skrillex of his day. Come on, people, hit the dance floor, have a good time. Why is no one having a good time? I specifically requested it. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. You can start the meeting now. The meeting is over, you're late. You missed roll call and the tutorial on using the new copier. Six years, and no matter how hard I try, I still can't get you to understand the importance of being punctual. Maybe you should just give up and accept me for who I am? No, I will break you right now. Oh. While you were out being tardy, I was hard at work devising a special punishment. I've crafted an intricate, personal high five with everyone in this office except you. What? But you hate high fives. Yes, every minute of it was hell. But it'll be worse for you. Squad, dismissed. <laughs> Goodbye, Diaz. Salute into a fanny waggle. Goodbye, Boyle. Oh, the snake charmer. Goodbye, Jeffords. That's the butt bump. Goodbye, Santiago. Double fist bump, reverse explosion into a Pete Townsend strum. <sighs> All right, that was terrible, but it's over now, and I made it through. Goodbye, Leonard from Xerox. What? No, no. The copy guy? Bonjour, mes amis. Oh, someone had a good time in Paris. Oh, Kevin and I shared a perfect week together. I feel like I'm floating on a croissant. I wonder why people don't just break into song more often. I've been asking you for months if I could answer the phone like, oh, dear. Give it a whirl, girl. Guys, I have a great idea for a prank. Before Holt comes in, I'm gonna put ink on the podium where he puts his hands. I don't think you'll fall for that. I did. How? I haven't even opened this yet. I guess it's unrelated. Captain Holt hates pranks. This is gonna backfire, man. Ugh, fine, I'll tone it down. I'll move his podium a foot to the left. What? He'll be so angry. Okay, five inches. Five? Three? Three. One? One? All right, I'll move it a half inch. Fine, it's your funeral. Oh my God. Worst prank ever. So stupid, Holt's not even gonna notice. Good morning. You guys, the, the podium, it's... <laughs> You're crazy! How did you pull this off? All right, this is the boat. Now, Charles has to think we're totally sober and we solved his puzzle, so we good? Yep, I'm drunk as hell! That's not what I asked. Don't worry about me. I've seen you do enough of these harebrained schemes that know how to play along. If Charles asks what's wrong, I'll just put on a coy smile and say, Nothing. Amazing. That is actually perfect. All right, now let's hold on to each other for balance like three totally sober grown men. Come here. And here we go. Oh, yeah, we're nailing this. Hello? Charles? Oh, Surprise! Oh, Welcome to the party, pal! Wow, this is amazing! Yeah! Now we get to the best part. Steaks and shots. Oh, more meat and alcohol. More? What does that mean? Uh, uh, nothing? I can't believe they're waxing the floor and we're all stuck in here. I've never seen them do this before. They do it once a month. We've just never been on the night shift. I know, it's like we're being punished. We are, for going to Florida. Oh, I don't listen to so much stuff you all say. Well, frankly, I pity the lot of you. You look out there and see a problem. I look out there and see an opportunity. I'm gonna slide on that slippery floor all the way from Holt's office to the elevator. You're gonna do the FBP. That's right, Rosa. I'm doing the full bullpen. 